anything but that, and I want to show you the reason why. No, forget these major cloud structures. It was that. Can you believe it? Yes, it was just that. And if you're wondering where your thunderstorms have gone, well, they've continued to pace through the early part of the evening down towards the London area, on towards Essex, parts of Suffolk as well. And there are Met Office severe weather warnings for about the next hour and a half or so. On into the wee small hours, things turn a good deal quieter across many parts of the British Isles. It will continue to rain apace across the Northern Isles, and there will eventually be quite a crop of showers. In between, the skies may well clear, and it will turn out to be a fairly cool night in some sheltered parts of the north. So tomorrow will be a day of scattered a multitude of sins. There will be some really sharp showers around. You might even hear again the odd rumble of thunder. They'll be there from the word go across Northern Ireland into the heart of Scotland, drier and finer stuff here. Notice it's still raining across the Northern Isles. But as we drift away towards the eastern side of the British Isles, it's a dry enough and a fine enough start. And if you need dry weather for anything, well, this is your window of opportunity. Certainly for the first two or three hours of the day, I can almost guarantee, almost, a dry and fine prospect there. But out towards the west, there's a little mini front here just pepping things up right from the word go. So expect a little bit more cloud and some sharpish showers. Not so much down across the southwest, but once we're into sort of the Bristol Channel area and all points north, well, here we will have quite a crop of showers there, gradually working their way out of Northern Ireland, on towards the Isle of Man, on towards the western side of Scotland. Let me now take you on through the day. See how that veil of cloud with its associated showers pushes ever further towards the east. And there are plenty to go around, you'll notice. Anywhere between the Thames and the Clyde, some really sharp ones, maybe the heavier downpour and the rumble of thunder. Still rains across the north. Could see a couple of inches falling across the Shetland Isles by the time this rain has rather given up the ghost. And that will be late on in the day. Eventually, those showers begin to fade away as we move out of Wednesday on into Thursday. Still, we have a little bit of rain close by to the north of Scotland. Notice yet again, as I was telling you last night, this area of low pressure still stalking its way towards the Isles of Scilly and eventually into the southwest of England. But in between the two, quite a bit of dry and fine weather. And with a wee bit of sunshine, you could well get your temperatures to around 22 or 23. So there's a lot going on. If you want to keep abreast of it, it's all there 